Hello, this is Alex Essling from CFFInsider.com and today I'm going to show you how to use our new My Insider account features. I'm going to assume you've already signed up for a free My Insider account and are already logged in. Once you are, you're going to see this beautifully styled blue box over here on the right hand side. Obviously that will be changing and it kind of lists the features here. Player tracker and school manager trackers are up and our custom scoring system, your ability to input that will be coming soon. But for now I'm going to click on My Insider and that'll take you to your personal account page. Again, this is pretty bare bones right now. At some point uh, in time, we will be adding uh, all of the pertinent information for your school tracker stats, rankings, news. Uh, so you can go to one your own little personal page to see all the players and schools that you're tracking. But for now, I'm going to show you how to just set up the tracker. So I'm going to start with the school tracker. And this will be for um, selecting the talent pool that your league is in. So you can filter through our site real easy that way. I'm going to set up a new one. Go ahead and hit create new. Uh, team track 2, hit save. So now I've cr created a new team tracker. Now assume that I'm in a league that has all the SEC or ACC players, all the SEC players, and let's say it has Notre Dame. So I select those and hit save selections. I can change this at any time. I can just uh, deselect Notre Dame and select no Navy if I wanted to. Hit save. And the Team Tracker 2 is all set up, so we will go back to the profile and do the same thing for Player Tracker. Now the Player Tracker is used for importing your personal rosters of your team so that you can easily um, sort through our data, our news, and our stats uh, without having to see information you don't want to see. So as you can see, I've already got one set up here, Player Tracker 1. And of course I've got the Gronkowski brothers already preloaded into my tracker here. Uh, but I'm going to add a few more players. We'll try uh, Mr. AJ Blue. We will try Mr. Vic Hall and Mike Glennon. So now you can see that those players are in there. Now if I wanted to add somebody specific, like Jonathan Dwyer, just type them in the box, select them, hit add player, um, and you can kind of navigate through our, our menus here and add certain players that you want to have. So now you can see I've got all those players that I added. If I don't want somebody, say I don't want Greg Cooper anymore, I just delete him, and, uh, and away we go. Now let me show you what that can do for you on the site. If I go to our draft kit, for example, and I filter by my team track 2, it will show me all of the players that are in ACC, SEC, and Navy. Now, the other bonus here is I can do this on just about any page. Say I wanted to see all the news for the players that are on my roster, I'll go to my Player 1 profile here, hit All Positions. And now I can see all the news for the players that are on my player tracker one which is the players that are on my team um, eventually we'll have the setup so it'll default to this and get our my insider account going um, but that's it in a nutshell i hope you enjoy if you have any questions you can always contact us at info at cffinsider.com enjoy and we'll talk to you talk to you soon